Hey, what's going on, everybody? Drag Eep here, and welcome to another What If. Here, today, right now, today's What If is What If Deku had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ooze? Y you probably know the one. One, the, spe the specific type of ooze, ooze made that made Splinter a living, a giant, human-sized rat. And, and what made these normal turtles into, well, these guys. Well, anyways, I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get straight into it. So. Oh wait, I forgot to say. If this video gets to 10 likes by the end of the month, I will continue it. But, let's finally get back into it. Oh, well, not back into it, let's begin it. Now, Izuku is four and is diagnosed corkless. The doctors just diagnosed him corkless because something was blocking his cork from coming out. They couldn't find out what, so... They just decide to call him Corkless. Izuku and Ink go exit the hospital. No, well, and then, boom! A portal, an interdimensional portal appears, and out comes comes that living brain in the machine, Krang, and Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael. Don Donnie yells out, out, we'll still beat you, Krang, our dimension of this one. And Krang is almost, most at the feet. But Krang then sees, sees Izuku. And, and Krang decides, you know what? I'm gonna give him, him some ooze. And the turtles, and he's so confident in it that, in that idea, that he decided to, to say it out loud. The turtles tried to stop him, but but couldn't. As Krang grabbed Izuku, go with one of his metallic hands, and with the other metallic hand, opened up a can of ooze and dumped it on Izuku. Go. The turtles then. The whipped, the bust the cap in Craig's butt. Donnie, he crick, which caused Izuku to fall on, to fall down, to get launched in the air and then fall completely down. Donnie caught him, them, and that was when the transformation began.
D and Leonardo said, we need to get to, we need to get to our dimension. We'll have to bring, bring this one with it, with us. Come on, let's go. Raphael and, and Donatello take Crank and head back to the portal. Leonardo, though, takes Suzuku, who is slowly transforming, meaning, and they both go into the portal. Michelangelo looks at Inko and says, Don't worry. Don't worry, man. Ma'am, we'll, we'll bring him back in ten years or when he finally... Or when... We find the cure, whichever comes first. But to be honest, it's probably the ten years. See ya! And Mikey exits through the portal. Izuku then is then awoken. And the first thing he sees is Splinter. He's a little, little shocked by this. But just a little. Because, well, since Izuku lives in a world where pe where 80% of the population have superpowers, it it's not that hard. And hmm. And Donnie goes, Are you okay? Do you know who you are? Do you know where you're from? And Izuku says, I, I, I'm Izuku Midoriya. Yeah, he tells him where he's from. Says, uh, wh where am I? He then looks at his hand. Hand and sees that it's a, that's in the form of a jack Gore's paw. He looks at his other hand, and it's the same thing. Izuku freaks out, saying, What? What happened? He looks through a mirror, and he finds out that his DNA, that the ooze, Who's turned his DNA shifted his DNA into that of his to his animal ancestor, and in this case, a jaguar. Isu Splinter to said, "Where did now? If you would please, young Izu, if you would please, Mister Midoriya, could you please tell us where about the dimension that you're from?" And Izuku said, uh, okay, um, I'm from a universe where 80% of the population have, have superhuman, 
movement abilities called quirks. He then pulls, he then opens his hands, and his hands are accident, and his hands automatically lit up in flames. Izuku freaks out, out which makes the fire your burn down. They burn out, but. Izuku is confused, saying, What? How? I, I thought it was Quirkless. Hmm. And Donatello, being the nerd, who, nerd that he is, goes, Hmm. It seems that your DNA... They caused you to not have a quirk, and when it got shifted, your quirk finally awoken. And... And Raphael goes, in English, Dottie! And Donnie goes, He used to not have any powers, but when he turned into the ja into a jaguar, he gains his powers activated. Soon they, soon the turtles and Splinter introduced themselves to Izuku, and shortly after that began his began Izuku's training, and not only his pal, only his quirk, but also so his un. So ninjutsu, because that's what what the ninja, what the turtles did. <laughs> that's what the turtles have, yeah. But anyways, back t ten years have passed. And Bakugo. Kugo has has exited the the school that he was in. Second, and and he decides to take a shortcut home. And sure enough, the sludge villain comes up. <sighs> You'll do good as a replace, as a bot. You'll do fine as a host. I'm gonna need your body, kid. <laughs> the sludge villain goes to attack, but then boom, dimensional portal. The, the dimensional portal then. Then deactivates, disappears, to show, to show Izuku, a six foot jack, guar, a six foot human like jaguar, guar with these. Oops. And Izuku said, Just when I thought I was gonna have... 
I was going back home in a norm at a normal day. <sighs> oh well, guess I'll have to deal with you first. And the sludge villain when chuckled at this, saying, <laughs> What are you... What the heck is a big cat going to do? And Izuku said, Well, for starters, lights his hands on fire, lights his fists on fire, and says, This. He keeps... And keeps punch... Ching the sludge villain with his fiery fist. Once the sludge villain is taken care of, Izuku quickly gets the sludge villain in some plastic bottles, those and sets them aside. And and Bakugo goes confused because well no one saw saw Izuku fully transformed. So he didn't know who he was. Bakugo just goes, Who the hell are you? Izuku said, The name's Izuku Midoriya. You remember me. Don't you, Kachan? And and these and Bakugo's eyes widen as the as Bakugo is in shock and goes, I I thought that I thought that thing from another dimension it. I thought it killed you. Izuku said, No, it didn't kill me. Just turned me into a human like Jaguar. How's mom? And he's, and Bakugo goes, she's fine. She didn't take too, too bad of it because the, because one of the turtles said that he would come, that you would come back. I guess he was right. Oh God, we better hurry up, hurry up and send. Be up and get you, get you to your mom. As they hurry, we up and go to Inko's place. The door. The door opens, and Inko goes, "Oh." Hello. Oh, hello, Bakugo. Oh, and who might you be? Izuku just looks down because he's six foot tall and says, Hi, Mom. Inko go in tears then hugs Suzuku and says 
Welcome back, baby. But that's where I'm going to leave it off. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, boom, something like that on the face. <laughs> Woo! Oh, God. Catch you next one, guys. Laters.